Sairam all of you. A very warm welcome to all of you. How are you all? I hope you all are well, safe at your places. And you all are following the instructions given by the elders. Yes, you have to follow it. I know you all are eagerly wanted to come to school for your new academic year. But no worries, we will study like this. I would like to congratulate you and welcome you in your new class that is 5th. I am Nitika Vishnoi going to teach you a subject English in your new class. This is the cover page of your book that is new voices for class 5th. These are the contents which we are going to study in this whole academic year. There are total 16 chapters. As you can see. And today we will start with chapter 1st. That is Mr. Nobody. Children, this is a poem. Mr. Nobody. Is it not funny how we react differently to mischief? at different times and different places sometimes it makes us makes us so mad sometimes we have a big laugh about it before starting a chapter before starting this poem the new words are first one is ajar repeat the word ajar second word is Pridi. Second word is Pridi. Third word is Misled. Third word is Misled. Now make sentences. The first word is Ajar. The door is Ajar. Or we can make the sentence differently. The back door was ajar so that the dog could come and go. You can also try to make a new sentence from this word. Now second word. Pridi. Second word is Pridi. Pridi. Friend, leave me alone. Or you can make a sentence differently. Pridi. Do not hurt the animals. Third word. Misled. Oh dear, I have misled my glasses again. Or, I have misled my purse. Okay children, now I would like to quickly brief you about the poem. There is nobody here who has done this mischief. In every house, when something or the other thing is broken, nobody is ready to tell who has done that. Here comes a poem about nobody. He is there in every house as a naughty child. So, nobody means a naughty child. So, this is a poem. I know a funny little man, as quiet as a mouse, who does the mischief that is done in everybody's house. There's no one ever sees his face, and yet we all agree that every plate we break was cracked by Mr. Nobody. This is he who always tear out books. Who leaves the door ajar. He pulls the button from our shirts. And scattered pins afar. That squeaking door will always squeak. And pretty, don't you see? We leave the oiling to be done by Mr. Nobody. He puts damp wood upon the fire. 
that cattle cannot boil his are the feet that bring the mud and all the carpet soil the papers always are misled who had them last but he there's uh, there's no one tosses them about but mr nobody the fingers marks upon the door by none of us are made we never leave the blinds unclosed to let the curtains fade the ink we never spill the boots that lying round you see are not all boots that all belong to mr nobody so children have you understood the poem the poem seems to just portray a family life where kids do mischievous things and they blame each other like for example you have done some kind of mischief like if you have broken or tear something and when your mother asks you who did this generally what you reply i don't know i have not done this even sometimes the family member instead of putting the blames on the child on the children the family says that mr nobody has done it even kids themselves don't accept their faults to escape scolding it is easier to blame it on someone else that someone else happens to be nobody now there are questions which we have to discuss answer these questions with reference to the context first one he puts dumb wood upon the fire that cattle cannot boil who puts dumb wood on fire think think who puts dumb wood on fire mr nobody has put dumb woods on fire second question what is the meaning of dumb wood what is the meaning of dumb wood dumb wood means the wood that is slightly wet the wood that is slightly wet third question how the dump would prevent the kettle from boiling how does the dump would prevent the kettle from boiling the dump would cannot catch fire the answer is dump would cannot catch fire so it prevent kettles from boiling Yes, children. Second one is, we never leave the blinds unclosed to let the curtains fade. Now the question is, whom does we refer to here? Whom does we refer to here? We refers to the elder, older, adult people. We refers to the elder older adult people second question who would leave the blinds open who would leave the blinds open mr nobody what happened because the blinds were left open next question is what happened 
because the blinds were open left open if the blinds blinds means the window if the blinds left open the color of the curtains fade yes children now answer these questions first question what does everyone agree upon what does everyone agree upon so the answer a everyone agreed upon that in every house there is a naughty child what does everyone agreed about everyone agreed upon that in every house there is a naughty child now question number second what does mr nobody do to the books what does nobody do do to the books mr nobody always tear out the books mr nobody always teared out the books yes question number 3 why will the squeaking door always squeak why will the squeaking door always squeak the squeaking door always squeak because nobody oils it the squeaking door always squeak because nobody oils it now question number 4 why does the kettle not boil why does the kettle not boil see question number 4 and the part first c is same why does the kettle not boil kettle doesn't boil because the dump because of the dump wood the kettle doesn't boil because of the dump wood now question number 5 what happen when nobody brings in his muddy feet what happen when nobody brings his muddy feet the answer is because of nobody's muddy feet the carpet gets dirty because of nobody's muddy feet the carpet gets dirty yes question number 6 what are the things that never done in the house this question you will write in your own words that what are the things that never done in the house take help from the poem and you have to write down now children we have rhyming scheme rhyming scheme means an ordered pattern of rhyme at the end of the lines in poem let's take an example of rhyming schemes see by none of us are made we never leave the blinds unclosed to let the curtains fade see the spelling of made and the spelling of fade is similar so these are the rhyming words here 
as white as mouse in everybody's house the spelling of mouse and house is similar so these are the rhyming words now we have similes similes what are similes similes are those words which are used to compare the two things similes are the words which are used to compare the two things like here nobody is compared to a mouse nobody is compared to a mouse here simile compares two very different things using the word as or like the two words are used to compare the two different things are as and like here is an example her hand was as cold as ice here hands are compared with eyes i hope children you all have understood the poem well you all understood the answers also and the exercise which we have done now i would like you to recite the poem once again the name of the poem is mr nobody I hope you all have read the poem. Lastly, I conclude that we should respect people's property, our property, our belongingness. We must be willing to admit our mistakes and carelessness. Thank you.